In transition, Crockett for three. Off the heel, Chapman the rebound. Chapman in transition. A pull up two, and there's a good sign for great hot heel. Try a lot of fire and he does for the Blue Jays. What do you do here if you're Creighton? You've got blitzed obviously to start this ball game. You know it's a long way till the end, but what do you do to get back in? Austin Chapman go make a play for him. You gotta get you gotta do something here. How about that? Austin, there it is. Your best player when you Brains one down for the ball. I've seen a lot of the ball basketball this year. They are more locked in in this game early than I can recall. To see him get going, just eight points a game over his last six. More importantly, shooting just 37 percent at that time. Here's Chapman off the inbound for three. Big bucket for the great Blue Jays. Create off the bounce, but he's got to make something happen. Or to shoot. Guarded three, but he got it. That's a tough shot. To pick some outside jumpers and attacks at the rim. Seared in for three. They need to get him going, and he hits his first bucket of paint. Tommy Helms had really nowhere to go for the turtle. Open for three. Taylor reigns at home. Creighton's with an eight and a timeout to Paul. Blue Jays finding their range from behind the arc. Creeping close. Playing very much like a team that at the end of the day wants to be the only unbeaten team in conference play. Yeah, they, they knew the challenge coming in here to Great. I don't care if Great has a conference game yet. This is still a tough place to play. There's a big three for James. Six to shoot. Artino, nowhere to go. Had it poked away. Artino with three to shoot. Lost the basketball. Leaking out is McDonald to the other end. McDonald has it blocked out of bounds. By Hegner. What a recovery by Toby Hegner. Now, Toby Hegner is trying to run down McDonald, who's a guard. But Hegner, this is the type of effort that we've seen from him in the last few years. Not allowed high percentage shots like that. So many players on this ball team could score. We've talked about four of the top 15 in the league. Toby Hector could score as he rains down the third. Chapman, the rebound, kept the dribble going. Nice work by Austin Chapman with a lot going on around him. Brooks saw Hamilton there and wisely backed it out. See, but Brooks doesn't have any confidence because he caught the ball on the threes wide open. He tried to get to the rim. And he got the foul. That knows what to do when they get around the rim. He puts his body right on the shot blocker, eliminating Tommy Henry. Trying to quiet both a little strong, and Chapman going the other way. In the corner, Milliken for three. And here come the Blue Jays. Back within nine, 47. Will Artino. Milliken back to Artino from the foul line. Seven point ball game. Really good two-man basketball. Milliken's going to draw attention. Position there, just rush the shot. There it is. Hegner all alone for three. Big bucket for the Blue Jays. Jays are closer, closer than they've been since the 18-02 mark in the first half. Got by 11. Nice job. Once again, Billy Garrett Jr. Got his waiter's hat on. Oh, Hegner's got his fifth. For the Blue Jays, where he sometimes struggled, but tonight they seem to be all intact. Isaiah Zierden, entry to Hanson down low against Robinson with the hook. Zach Hanson at the next level. He, he was poised. He got to the lane. He didn't charge. A nice floater for a six-foot-five point guard. Zierden with the ball away. Gets it to go down on a timeout. Oh, God. Well, they started six and one, then they lost six straight. They're on the verge of going 3-0 and in the Big East, but this game not done yet. 3.47 to go, and Creighton with a chance to cut it back to single digits. Damon does not waste any time. Slips the pick and roll, goes right up. Nice job by Avery Dink going hard to the hole, making some music like his hometown of Branson, Missouri. 
64-55, nine-point game. Back in, Tyler Clements. Out goes James Milliken. And again, a chance to set up that pressure on the inbound. Nearly got the turnover, and they did. Aaron Simpson gets caught in Coffin's corner and then leaves his feet. Right there, left his feet. Toby doing a good job of tracking it down. Dingman comes in once again, second time. So now he's matched with Dingman on the drive to the rim. Can't get it. Dingman the rebound. Jay's now looking to push. Egner fell down. He was a little late in there, so Creighton didn't have numbers. Had to take some time. Chapman with the step back and the two. That's a big time.